JG Harding here again for the uh, Sound of Sound Video Media section here at NAB in Las Vegas. I'm here with Stuart here from Blackmagic Design. I understand you guys have got a, an Apple Mac a native version of DaVinci color grading system. Yeah, this is, this is really big news for us this year at NAB. Um, there's been a lot of anticipation over the last eight months because uh, in September of last year, Blackmagic Design, Design announced that they were going to actually purchase DaVinci Design Systems. Um, Resolve, which is part of DaVinci, was um, the number one color grading system on the market. Um, it's been used in a number of different feature films, including the likes of Avatar, which was recently released uh, only a few months back. Um, that system was traditionally a very expensive one, which maybe would have set back a post-production facility somewhere in the region of two to three hundred dollars to start with. Um, what we've done is over the last eight months, we've, in, we've invested some serious cash and serious time in, in, into trying to make it more affordable to everybody. Um, and also making a solution that can be a slightly cut down um, for um, people to start getting used to and getting into color grading industry. Um, and then eventually with the hope that they'll one day move up. So what we've done is we've actually produced uh, a piece of software um, which is based exactly on the original. Um, it's essentially all the features that are in the high-end system. Um, the only difference being is it works on a, it works on a Mac Pro. Um, which means it's actually, um, it's actually going to work on a one GPU machine, whereas the other one is scalable, you can have more GPU dependent on power. Um, the real benefit for this as a color corrector is that, um, is that it's very, very intensive on the computer, which means that usually there'll be a lot of rendering involved. Where DaVinci really stands out above the competition is that it means that you can actually start doing primary, secondary, color corrections, you can do rotates, defocuses, zooms, all in real time. So we, we, we seem to think that probably on the Mac version, we could probably get somewhere in the region of around about six or seven streams of HD uncompressed, which is a phenomenal amount of, um, of, of, uh, of footage to be working with in a real-time environment. Um, the other great thing about this as well is it works on uh, a MacBook Pro, which means that you can actually put it on a laptop and you can take it home with you and work on it at home. Um, in addition, it also works with tangent panels as well. So the tangent wave panel, which is like $1,200, um, it'll, it'll interface with this via USB, and you can work with it entirely, um, entirely in, a, in a creative environment using the panel. So that's pretty much it. I mean, we've got a, um, a $995 solution for Mac, um, for the MacBook Pro, um, using exactly the same software as the high-end Linux system, but limited to one GPU. And that's a really significant price drop for using the DaVinci system, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the, I mean obviously the, the price point is, is something that we've worked very, very hard to, to try and bring down. Um, we understand that as the market develops and as, has, as people start to gain more interest into the color grading, the color grading area of this industry, that they need to be able to get their hands on it and work with it to be able to understand it better. Now the problem that you have is that if you haven't got $200,000, $300,000 in your back pocket, it's going to become very, very difficult to achieve that. What's nice with this is that for $1,000, you can buy some software, you can start to learn it, you can start to work out how the features work within a color grading system, start to enhance the quality of your work, and then one day you may move up to that $300 system. Or in our case, if you buy the actual Linux system, it may only cost you $85,000. So, you know, it's a big jump up, um, but the great thing is that at least we've sown some seeds and hopefully one day you'll move up into that position. Excellent, thanks very much, Stuart. All right, thank you.